story to tell. According to Naval News, on July 24th, the U.S. Navy launched four SM-6 missiles to intercept two SRBM missiles in the latest test of the Missile Defense Agency MTA. Accordingly, one target was successfully intercepted. The other has not been confirmed. This is believed to be the most complex mission undertaken by the MTA and the third flight test of an Aegis BMT-equipped vessel using the SM-6 Dual-2 missile. The firing ship for the test was the USS Ralph Johnson DDG-114. The new hypersonic arms race is becoming a potential threat to missile defense systems. In the United States, a new proposal is being discussed aimed at modernizing the SM-6 anti-aircraft missile to meet new needs and missions. In a short time, the US military will have more modern weapons to strengthen its defense against the threats of new hypersonic weapons from potential adversaries. The interceptor missile tests are seen by the U.S. as an opportunity to improve technology and demonstrate defense power globally. Tests of the SM-6 anti-aircraft missile aimed at determining its ability to intercept hypersonic targets. When receiving positive results, SM-6 may begin to be modernized. By 2024, on the basis of the SM-6 missile, the U.S. plans to create a new weapon capable of perfectly performing the task of intercepting hypersonic targets. The SM-6 anti-aircraft missile, also known as the Standard Extended Range Active Missile, RIM-174 or Standard Missile 6 or SM-6 was developed by Raytheon Corporation and has been in service with the U.S. Navy since 2013. The weapon has been exported to a number of U.S. allies including Australia, Japan and South Korea. SM-6 is a product using two-stage solid fuel engine. It has a length of 6.6 .6 meters, with a maximum diameter of about 530 millimeters. The large weight is 1,500 kilograms, of which the fragmentation warhead weighs 64 kilograms. The missile is equipped with an inertial guidance system and an active and passive radar seeker. SM-6 can reach a maximum speed of Mark 3.5. The range of the first modified version of Block 1A is claimed to be 240 km. The ceiling is 34,000 meters. After modernization, the SM-6 can almost double the range. The SM-6 is fully compatible with the Mark 41 Montero launcher, allowing it to be fitted on a variety of warships of both the US and its partners. It was designed for extended range anti-air warfare purposes, providing capability against fixed and rotary wing aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, anti-ship cruise missiles in flight, both over sea and land, 
and terminal ballistic missile defense. It can also be used as a high-speed anti-ship missile. During the tests, the SM-6 demonstrated and confirmed its high-flying characteristics. Its control and guidance systems help it effectively deal with the interception of maneuverable aerodynamic targets and high-speed ballistic objects with predictable trajectories. Thus, in fact, the SM-6 missile is not only an anti-aircraft weapon, but also a multi-room complex to serve different tasks. High combat performance combined with advanced guidance and control facility can make the SM-6 a mobile interceptor weapon against hypersonic targets. If SM-6 is confirmed to be capable of dealing with the hypersonic threat, its upgrade project will be launched. It will take several years, and by the end of the decade, American warships will receive the most advanced missile defense. My video about RIM-174 SM-6 missile answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.